<clears throat> Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to get that soft film-like look in Adobe Lightroom. Just so you know, the first part where I correct the exposure and contrast and I don't do the white balance but it might be necessary for your scene to do differently. That's always the case, you know, basic corrections apply differently to every scene. So the preset I provide below will also not work on every scene. You'll have to tweak the exposure and contrast to your liking. So the first thing you want to do when you open up Lightroom, take a good look at your image and figure out what you want. Do you want bright? Do you want dark? Do you want eye contrast? You know, you need to figure out what fits in your image. Since the foreground is quite warm and the background quite blue, I'm gonna enhance that and dial back the actual contrast in the scene and make use of the color contrast in the scene to make it work to its fullest potential and achieve the look I want. I feel like this scene is way too dark so I'm gonna dial this up maybe to somewhere around here. What the f***? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna dial it up to somewhere around here which looks nice. Don't be afraid to clip out the highlights a little bit because um, the highlights being a bit brighter even though they're not clipping is always nice. This looks good. Now I'm gonna try and correct some things like the profile just to fix that weird distortion and the giant vignetting. I don't really like the vignetting on this photo so I'm gonna turn it off. Chromatic aberration could stay in my opinion. I like it. It's a lens hard effect and I feel like it fits. So I'm not gonna change that. And now I actually wanna look at colors. Why do something yourself when it's already been done? If I'm gonna wanna achieve the same look as the preset. To me, presets are a tool and you can use them in whichever way you want. So I'm gonna pick out a nice color. I'll look really nice. They're very filmic and Lightroom provided really good presets to work with. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. It accentuates the Irish colors very well. Yeah, it makes them look very good actually. Pump up those shadows, make them visible, looks really good. Pull these down because that's what film does as well. From my observations it seems like film has rolled off highlights and very gloomy highlights. So for that we're gonna pull down the highlights, pull down the whites. To achieve this soft look we're gonna pull down the clarity to like minus 40. Depending on your photo you need to like figure it out. I think these values should work maybe a little bit more towards here. It already looks very nice and gloomy, you'll see. It makes everything quite a bit softer, but that's kind of the look I'm going for, so that's what we want. This can go up a little bit, maybe somewhere around here. A little bit more color in the scene, and yeah, in my opinion, this looks good, and I'm happy with it. So now, I need to fix my curve. Like, my curve is not what I want it to be. So to roll off the highlights even more, I'm gonna make the curve like this. There we go. It already has that very filmic look in my opinion and I love it. Next thing I want to add is green. I have a couple of default values which for me work the best. You can tweak these values to see what fits your photo best, but in my experience these values look the best for my photo. You'll see now it added a little bit of grain in there, turn it off and on. Just adds that texture in there in a very filmic way. Now we're on to the magic part, which is very interesting in my opinion and very cool about the new filters. So, first thing you want to do is add a luminous range mask, click the highlight part in your image and try and get it to somewhere what looks good. I think this looks good for now, yeah. And, and then we're gonna pull down the texture. We'll make things quite a bit softer. Now then this, which will make things even softer. Like you see, we're really, really softening the image, which might seem excessive, but if you look at old film images and you haven't taken the pictures with an vintage lens or a mist filter in front of your lens. I even had a mist filter in front of my lens. It doesn't have that vintage bloomy look on the highlights. So you can do it in post with this technique. So now we're gonna add a radial filter. And then maybe pull down the feather a little bit or pull it up a bit a little bit like this. Sure it's not too far away. Then we're gonna pull down the clarity on this to like a lot. It might seem very excessive and weird, but now we're gonna invert it and boom, 
there you have it. It creates this magical gloomy look to the image and and it's still sharp. Modern cameras are so sharp. There's no reason for you to make your edit as sharp as your pictures. My girlfriend and I are both in this image, which is kind of funny. You don't have to make your images as sharp as they come out. Don't be afraid to alter your images to make them quote unquote lower quality or less sharp or even add artifacts. It's an artistic choice. And in the end, this looks way closer as something as characteristic as film than without all these edits. Good way to show you this is if I go back to the preset, hover over the preset we chose. It basically removes all softness from the image. And in my opinion, it looks too sharp. And it doesn't give the same feeling as I wanted to have. So that was it. That was the tutorial. I hope you learned something and this was what you were looking for. Um, check out the link in the description for download to the preset. I'll provide a preset. Just make sure to make your own corrections, of course, because it doesn't work on every photo. That's how a preset works. So, yeah, see you soon. Have a nice one.